Bob Dylan once wrote, A hero is someone who understands the responsibility that comes with his freedom. My hero encompasses that statement and more. My hero was a fighter pilot during the Vietnam War and served his country well and made his family proud. His name is Charles Shaheen Jr. and he's my dad. My dad was born July 17, 1940 in Reedley, California. He was the youngest of four children raised in Orange Cove by my grandparents who were grocery store owners. He attended Orange Cove Elementary and Reedley High School in which he graduated in 1958. At a young age my dad has always loved airplanes and was fascinated how these huge machines could fly as easy and smooth as a bird. While attending Reedley Junior College he joined the flying club, learned aeronautics and worked on planes while taking flying lessons on his off time. He continued his education at the University of Oregon in 1959 where he joined the Air Force ROTC. In 1962, he graduated from the U of O with a bachelor's in education, as well as being commissioned as an officer in the Air Force. Fresh out of college, he was sent to Reese Air Force Base in Lubbock, Texas, where he attended pilot training. He received his wings in 1963 and was sent to Reno, Nevada for survival school, then attended advanced flight school for the F-100 in Arizona. In 1964, he was sent to be stationed with the United States Air Force Europe at Lake and Heath, England. In 1967, during the Vietnam War, Charles was assigned to Phan Rang in Phuket in Vietnam. While in North Vietnam, he flew 61 missions as a forward air controller, where he flew over enemy territory at low levels, finding targets of opportunity and commanded direct airstrikes over those areas. My father flew 260 total missions in Vietnam, clocking over 600 combat hours. In 1968, during his last mission, he was shot down in Vietnam and rescued uninjured in the Gulf of Tonkin. While in the Air Force, he was awarded numerous medals and decorations, including the Silver Star, four distinguished flying crosses, the Purple Heart, and many others. He left the Air Force in 1968 and began to fly for Continental Airlines, where he met my mom, Cindy, a stewardess from New Orleans. They married in 1977 and moved back to Fresno to start a family. In 1985, Charles left Continental and began working in the finance business, which he is still doing to this day. Like most fathers and sons, we may not see eye to eye and may not always get along. But I will always be proud of my father for not only the heroics that he has demonstrated in the past, but for the person he has always been.